Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by KitchenAid for the way it's made. See what's cooking at KitchenAid. A beautiful tour of the restaurant. We are at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque, and I'm with John Haas, executive chef of Bravo. Mm -hmm. And um, you're here back for season three. This is your third it, time on the show. It is with us. third year. I just can't have enough of it. So you know, we're uh, we're excited about another time. I'm excited to have you back. And mm -hmm. you know what's really cool is a lot of high school kids don't keep the same job <laughs> that long. Three oh, years. Oh, good huh? one. A lot of old ladies don't remember that. <laughs> oh. So there we go. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Okay. Touche. No more cheap shots. Touche. We'll, well, I'll have some more later. Okay. All right, all right. But for now, we'll get to the recipe. We're cooking okay. in a kitchen, a kitchen that you can come and see at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque, and you brought. A beautiful list of ingredients. What are you mm -hmm. making for us today? Uh, we're going to do a nice little pecan crusted tilapia. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll make the bread in here in a minute. And uh, we'll also go ahead and make a mixed green salad that's got some uh, sliced red onions, strawberries, a little balsamic vinaigrette, and we'll top it with some candy pecans. So. Yummy. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool cool um, combination of ingredients. So, okay, can I help you do this? Absolutely. We'll start by making the bread in here. Okay. Uh, first thing you want to do is grab our pecans. And these are just regular pecans. Okay. We have candied ones over here, but we'll get to those later. So, okay. Uh, we're just going to go and add them into our kitchen. All right. All right, and then we probably, we'll just put the lid on for a second and we'll pulse this. About three seconds is good. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, we'll just take the lid off and we'll do this. We'll add in our uh, panko breadcrumbs. I'm your lid man. You are. You're, uh, I'm not a wingman, I'm your lid yeah. man. After that cheap shot, I know you're not my wingman. Ah. So. All right, we'll John, go John, you, you gotta let it go. Gotta, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta work this out. All right, so we're good. That's really all it takes. Okay. Five seconds. Um, so we'll go ahead and take out our breadcrumbs here. What if here. you don't have a fancy mixer like this? Uh, you can pound them with like a mallet or something like that if you want to, or just a little meat tenderizer. Okay. Uh, just something, or you can also buy chopped pecans that are uh, pretty finely chopped. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll put that in this bowl here. All right. Um, then we'll get to our breading process. Pretty simple, just it is pretty and, simple. and breadcrumbs. Um, I mean, this is really a meal that you can make pretty quick, especially if you have some that's prepared. Um, and if you want to try to make this meal, you can find his recipe and the ingredients mm -hmm. on southwesthotchefs.com. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and uh, let's grab the tilapia. Okay. We're going to get your fingers a little dirty here. We're going to do right. a little flouring. Uh, so let's go ahead and add it into the flour. Put this, okay, the yep. tilapia in the flour. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and then we'll just coat both sides. Um, next thing we want to do is put it into a little bit of egg wash, mm -hmm. just uh, some whipped eggs. Um, pretty easy. You just want to. Cover it there. And, and wash we'll, the flour off. Yep, I know what you exactly. call it. Wash. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put it into our pecan breading. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of uh, cover that pretty well. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of uh, oil in here. It's just a little bit of a, uh, you can use canola oil, vegetable oil, uh, whatever you like. So we got our oil in. Our pan is nice and hot. We're starting to see our oil dance a little bit in there. Oh, that's fine. So let's go and uh, I'll put this in here. Okay. Um, that way you don't splash yourself here. So we got the uh, tilapia in. We just want to make sure we move the oil around a little bit to make sure that uh, we kind of cover the bottom there. I read, I read on your website you can um, you can order online. You can actually, and we're gonna have a uh, app coming out this year on our iPhone, so you can actually order on your iPhone too. Okay, so, who's doing that? Are people ordering online and then coming in and having lunch and dinner, or are they ordering online and then taking it? To for carryout, yeah. For carryout, you can order like a half hour ahead of time or something like that, and just you can put what time you want to pick it up, and then just walk in and it'll be sitting there ready for you to get. It. So next up, uh, we'll go over here, and we'll go ahead and put um, our balsamic vinaigrette in okay. here. Into um, the lettuce? Yep, into you just the lettuce. got a spring mix here? Yep, just a little uh, mescaline spring mix. Mescaline and spring um, mix. you can use your favorite balsamic vinaigrette. We have a house one that we make. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and flip this because it's starting to get a little on the uh, dark side there. Oh, so okay. we got a nice little crust. Very gold. Um, so we'll, let's go ahead and toss that a little bit. Okay. And we'll I also, can do that. Yeah, definitely. See? So there you go, that's perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and add in our uh, strawberries. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be hiring you for my pantry station, but this works good. You know, I'm not, what I lack in cooking skills, I make up for in a good time. Like, yeah. we have fun. Character you know? and charisma, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, um, we'll see if it lasts. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of a slice of an onion in here. This will add a little bit of bite to the salad. All right. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and take this sloppia, and I'm going to actually switch this sloppia into this pan while you're doing that. All right. Um, we'll do you do want that some? There. What's it? Do you want some? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I, the guest always tries I, it with I, me. I saw you making it. Haven't so you I... seen the show? <laughs> You're all over me, John. I am, Golly. I'm sorry. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in here. And uh, I've actually got one that we cooked off just a second ago. And we'll grab that out. All right. This is the fake and bake. We actually this is, have, yeah. this, have this ready to go. This uh, already. So. You did, because you're a good planner. Uh, I tried it. Yeah. John, how long did you bake that fish? Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to start to finish, about 6 minutes in the oven, 4 minutes in the pan, uh, depending on how, how high your oven is. 
I did it 400. Uh, you could certainly do it higher and you know cook a little bit shorter. Okay. So, um, so 400 for about 600. Exactly. Okay. So let's go ahead and take our tilapia here. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing we'll do is top it with a little bit of boars and cheese. Uh, boars and cheese is like a garlic and herb flavored cheese. It's uh, very creamy, mm. very flavorful. You used um, that last year we made the for I did. So here we go. We topped it with our candy pecans and we're ready to go. Okay. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. I'm going to get some cheese for the boars and cheese since it's mm -hmm. famous. Mmm. Delicious salad. Nice, clean, fresh, not too oh, heavy. Yeah. Even with, you know, pan searing this, the tilapia, it's still pretty fresh. Wow. Really light. So good, John. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Not bad for high school kids. <laughs> I'm kidding. I glad, know, you, I, glad you came back on the I show. I had it coming. Thank you very much. I love Bravo. I love to come shopping and be able to stop in here and meet a girlfriend for a drink. And um, I just love the food here.